Aloha. Thanks for joining us today, Thursday, for Adventures in Small Business. This program is presented as a partnership with ThinkTech, the Veterans Business Outreach Center of the Pacific, the Mink Center for Business and Leadership, the Small Business Development Center, and the U.S. Small Business Administration. Thanks so much for joining us. During this program, we talk about small business in Hawaii, what it takes to be a successful business owner, what inspires and motivates some of our top business leaders in the community, what are entrepreneurs doing, and what makes the difference in their success. We always hear it's a lot about the passion you feel, the commitment to your business. So today we're talking to one of those business owners that does exemplify those things, a real commitment to what her business does, making a difference, and uh, helping make a contribution here to our economy in Hawaii. Please help me welcome L Nalani Jenkins of 721 LLC. Thanks for joining us today, Nalani. Thank you, Jane. You know, Thanks for having me. I'm glad we finally got you on the program because I've been excited to talk with you about what you're doing because you're a very busy woman and I think a lot of people will probably recognize you. Maybe give us a little bit about your background if you would. Well, um, if people do recognize me and they think it's a little unusual in the business setting, um, it could be because I'm better known as a Hawaiian singer yes. and a musician mm -hmm. uh, in our high school years, which was around them years ago, <laughs> um, decades. In mm -hmm. fact, um, I started a group called Naleo Pilimehana with my two best friends in high school. Mm -hmm. And we've been singing and performing Hawaiian music all over the world for the last number of years. Well, it could be better than that. <laughs> but, you know, with your best friend, with something you love to do, something you can share globally, but you're extremely well known and still very, very successful locally. Sounds like you have a lot to juggle. How do you manage 721 LLC and the layout? Well, um, good question. Mm -hmm. um, how do you manage all the things that you do, right? <laughs> I mean, you just figure out ways to get stuff done, uh -huh. right? Especially if, if it's something you feel committed to and mm -hmm. passionate about, right? Right. Um, I think for Naleo, it's been a number of years learning the business, and a lot of it has to do with marketing. You'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. You make a record, but then you take like two years to market that record. Mm -hmm. You know, and so um, there is a connection between us continuing to do our music, mm -hmm. but also being able to share it with the world. Like, what a shame if you write a great song mm -hmm. or you record a great album and nobody gets to hear it. Right? Yes. So marketing has always been my passion mm -hmm. and managing the group, and I continue to do that through 721 as well. Okay, I see. So 721 is a marketing organization, correct? Correct. It's yeah. one of the things that we do mm -hmm. for 721. So why don't you tell us a little bit about 721 and maybe, maybe give, me the, give me your elevator. Beach. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I learned this from the SBA, you know, <laughs> Julie Purcell, great teacher. Uh -huh. um, so 721 is a marketing, communications, and community engagement company. Mm -hmm. So I like to think of it as a three-legged stool. And what we do varies from client to client, but it seems that everybody we work with needs pieces of those three elements, mm -hmm. some heavier on one than the other. From a communication standpoint, we have a digital marketing system mm -hmm. that uh, I developed, and um, it's, it's proprietary to 721, but it encompasses all of the things that a business needs to be able to communicate out to the general public. And I spent several years working in that capacity for one of the large um, public relations firms here in Hawaii. Okay. And so communicating, right? Mm -hmm. Who's your target audience? What are you trying to uh, share with them? What mediums uh, work the best? Is it television? Is it radio? Is it written? Is it mm -hmm. digital? Of course, a lot of things are going more digital. Mm -hmm. So we do communications work for a number of clients. We do community engagement. I think that one is the one that's a little hard for people to understand all uh -huh. the time. But I like to think of it like this. We connect the unconnected. Okay. So sometimes there are businesses that come to us and say, man, we're going to be doing work in this area. We really don't know who the leaders are, mm -hmm. what the roadblocks are going to be, what do we need to do to look ahead, to plan for working within this community, mm -hmm. and uh, we help them be strategists. Okay, so do that. Your, your business success is helping other businesses be successful as well. Yes. Whatever, whatever their message might be, whatever their product or service is they need to get out, 
you can help them figure out the best ways to do it or how to overcome obstacles on the way. Yeah. And so do you have long-term relationships then with a lot of your clients um, over time? Yeah, Sometimes for sure. I've had a really long term relationship with that group Naleo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess so. Uh -huh. Naleo's been um, 35 years uh -huh. together. And, um, and so, wow. yes, you get to know. That's um, quite a beta test there for, you know, <laughs> is this right. working? <laughs> right. Right. And the music industry, just think about it. How mm. many changes have happened over the 35 years? Not unlike other businesses that you're probably uh, familiar mm -hmm. with and work with where it used to be very local, mm -hmm. right? It wasn't necessarily important to be able to communicate um, digitally or worldwide, uh -huh. but now everybody's markets change, right? Yes. Yeah. So some, some clients, yes, I know very intimately, and that helps me to understand them better. Mm -hmm. Other clients um, have come to us almost, almost um, entirely by referral. Okay, so we that's, do have a, that's some, a great way to do business. Yeah, we do have some new clients that we mm -hmm. just started working with. We worked with the building industry of Hawaii recently on a grant that they received to do disaster training preparedness throughout the South Pacific. Oh, terrific. And we help them get the word out. Very, very important. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. another place SBA gets out to play sometimes. Right, you know? right. And so yeah. that's a community engagement aspect, but it's mm -hmm. also communications, mm -hmm. you know, having the right messaging. And how are you communicating it? And then uh, the third leg of the stool for 721 is marketing. Mm -hmm. So um, putting those messages out there um, in the way that's most strategic and most mm -hmm. efficient. Okay. So, and you probably, um, you've worked with businesses on an individual project, or you uh, may have long-term clients that take them through just ongoing change, development, growth, or yeah, things they sure. want to see happen. So How 721, yes, correct. Mm -hmm. 721 is uh, going to be four years old mm -hmm. this summer. And um, it was started because uh, the day that we registered the business is, was July 21st. Okay. So 721. Uh, that's where it came that's from. That's where it came from. I was from. trying to look at all different kinds of relationships with those numbers. Yeah, and yeah. Meaning, so. yeah, well, I got a great story for you. But mm -hmm. um, 721 is a company that I started with Tracy Lawson. Yes. So we are co-owners of the company, uh -huh. and we both bring very unique and different skill sets mm -hmm. to 721. When we started the company three and a half years ago, I was working at a large PR firm. I was also managing and marketing Naleo mm -hmm. and doing other things, and I was ready for a change. And I was like, I, I want to do something else. And I'm very entrepreneurial, always uh -huh. have been, and uh -huh. I really prefer to work for myself, mm -hmm. right? So I was looking at what could I do, and this was a big change point in my life. And just so happens the day was 721, right, when we uh -huh. registered. I had no idea until three years later. So this is new stuff for me, Jane. <laughs> a few months ago, I happened to Google the meaning of 721. Oh. And I think I Googled it for some other reason. Like, it wasn't like I was thinking there really was a meaning. Uh -huh. I thought, I think I was doing like SEO, you know, okay. search engine optimization stuff for the company and trying to see what came up on Google. Well, 721. Um, the meaning of that number sequence mm -hmm. is that you're looking for change or that you're in a position in your life where you're shifting. It's like mm -hmm. a season. Oh, my goodness. A major shift and change in, in the positive. What kind of serendipity, I mean, to have that right? happen. Yes. Right? I mean, we looked at the date, and I play blackjack. Uh -huh. So 21's <laughs> a great number. Seven's a great number. Uh -huh. um, I'm kind of a numbers geek, and so is Tracy because she's an engineer. And right. so... Um, the fact that they're, you know, divisible into each other and whatever. Uh -huh. I know that sounds super nerdy, but everything just felt right about that name. Mm -hmm. Also, as a marketer and a brander, I wanted a name that was completely clean slate. Okay. Uh -huh. I looked at a lot of Hawaiian names for my company because that really would have resonated with me. Mm -hmm. But they, a lot of them were taken. Yes. You know, or they had preconceived notions of what that name symbolized. Mm -hmm. Right? And I wanted a clean slate. And so... That's there you very go. That's interesting. You, you got it all, all packaged <laughs> together right there. Yeah. And it just happened. Yeah. That's... So some of it is, is strategic and thoughtful, and some mm -hmm. of it is just darn sheer luck. Mm -hmm. I like it when the two come together <laughs> myself. <laughs> you know, just by chance, it, it happened to be the right thing. Right. And right. obviously, it sounds like it's been a great um, decision for you to move forward. Have you struggled with 
being the business owner again. It sounds like you've had experiences like with Naleo, so you kind of knew what to expect. Were there any surprises in going out of the music industry? Um, well, you know, so here's an interesting little fact about me because mm -hmm. people really know me best as a musician. Yes. But honestly, I'm a business person who uh, happens to play music. Uh -huh. So the music industry was something I was forced to learn and I wanted to learn to help us promote our music. Mm -hmm. But I was a commercial banker before we signed with Sony Records in the 90s. Oh my goodness, I, I a, didn't know Yeah, that. I was a bank manager and a commercial lender and a loan analyst for nine years. Uh -huh. and, um, and so I got to look at a number of different businesses and my job actually for three of those nine years was to write these very lengthy um, reports for the uh, lending committees Mm -hmm. about the structure of a company, their competitive analysis, their um, cash flow position, their profitability, what the market looked like, and whether they were, in summary, a good candidate for a mm -hmm. commercial loan. Oh, my goodness. So uh, it seems like you've really found the perfect thing. Being an, being an entrepreneur, being a business owner, seems like it has really capitalized on all of those experiences as well, because one of the things that so many people don't get are the numbers. Mm -hmm. um, in being a business owner or really understanding their financials or their positioning. You've got True. the marketing piece to go with it as well. And then you have also the understanding of, of passion and expanding and getting, getting the things out to everybody. So all of those are kind of, I mean, I think critical components for a small business owner. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Or? Oh, yeah. Totally. You know, it's funny where life takes you, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes you think it's serendipity, but my tutu, who mm -hmm. I'm named after, who lived to be 100, so my tutu's not with us anymore, but she always told me, she goes, Nalani, there's a value in Hawaiian um, culture called koho'ia, which means you're on a path, and you'll get to crossroads or forks in the path, and you'll think that you're making a choice to go left or right. Uh -huh. She goes, koho'ia means choice, no choice. Oh. Meaning, yeah, you might take this choice, and it's okay. Don't fret on it too much, because if that's not where you're supposed to go, you're probably going to go back here. Uh -huh. And wherever you go along this road is going to give you new experiences, mm -hmm. you know, new truths. Uh -huh. and, um, and so I think all of these things have intentionally, in some way or another, come together to make me who I am. Mm -hmm. And all these different experiences, I think, have value. Yes. That's terrific. I mean, you know, you sound like you've looked at a lot of experiences, a lot of different places, and tapped all of those resources to bring together what you have now. Um, where do you see yourself going in the next five years? Oh, the next five years. Well, um, like I didn't have enough going on, uh -huh. I decided to go back to school. <laughs> 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 I know, crazy, uh -huh. right? Um, but uh, the company's growing. I have more support now. I have employees, uh -huh. and, um, and I, I have support from Tracy as well. And so decided to go back and get my PhD in organizational leadership, mm -hmm. strategic uh, change and uh, innovation. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. So... Where am I going to go with that? I'm not sure, but anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but I think a lot of organizations need that kind of strategic thinking. Mm -hmm. And I think if I'm going to be a communicator, a marketer, and a community engagement person, I need to understand what is going on within mm -hmm. organizations, what's going on in the communities that they serve, what change are they trying to affect, mm -hmm. and how are all of those things connected? Because mm -hmm. that's like my passion, to connect the unconnected, right? So how are all of those things connected, and how can we utilize our skill sets mm -hmm. to help our clients make those connections and, um, you know, for the, for the purpose of growing their business? Mm -hmm. I think it's very interesting because I think, uh, you know, um, so many people hearing you say this, I'm going to study how to connect things and do better process and things would say, how do you make a business out of that? How do you, say, um, monetize that? Mm -hmm. But so many businesses are looking for guidance mm -hmm. and needing assistance because they're working still on keeping their business going and hopefully growing, mm -hmm. but they're producing products or services. So sometimes they have someone who can help them, if they can define or see their goal, 
how do we get there? Right. So to actually implement that planning process right. is, is a big thing, you yeah. know. So you've had to do some of that kind of planning or searching and plotting yourself. Um, was that, I mean, you were a member of our Emerging Leaders cohort yes. last year. Yes. So um, and can you tell us a little bit about your experience in the class oh, as well? Or? Great experience. So it went on for seven months, was it, Jane? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember, like, That's, how long. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty long period, and mm -hmm. we're doing that recruitment right now. Right. So it's an interesting thing. Let's hold that thought, and we can okay. start right after our break with our Emerging Leaders cohort and maybe some of the lessons that Nalani gleaned from a life full of lessons mm -hmm. and a, a, a lifetime of lessons at work and play and in friendship as well. So we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. My show is based on my book, also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about creating a superior culture of excellence, leadership, and finding greatness. I interview guests who are successful in business, sports, and life, which is sure to inspire you in finding your greatness. Join me every Monday as we go beyond the lines at 11 a.m. Aloha. Hey, aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we wanna teach you about those things in our industry that you know, may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. Thanks for joining us after our break. We're back here with Adventures in Small Business and Nalani Jenkins, the president of 721 LLC. So thanks very much for joining us, everybody. Um, we're talking about looking at resources and things that help business move along. And so we were discussing a little bit our Emerging Leaders class. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. along with Emerging Leaders, you've got a lot of other things that 721 has taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. Native Hawaiian owned, woman owned, DBE with the state. Yeah, Hawaii uh, Department of Transportation. We're an H dot DBE. Mm -hmm. Disadvantaged business enterprise, uh -huh. which means that we're woman owned, um, Native Hawaiian owned, veteran owned, because Tracy is also a veteran and a woman. Okay. And, um, and that we meet the criteria for the, uh, the size and the mm -hmm. scope of what we do. So that positions you to do work with the state um, and potentially um, special certifications that can help you get a whole range of different contracts, right? even right. with major, uh, major vendors and things like that. Yeah, so I'll give you an example because it seems sometimes a little hard to understand what we do. Um, let's say the Department of Transportation has um, a big uh, roadworks improvement project coming mm -hmm. up, and um, they may need communication support during the term of the project. So people communicating with the community so they know what the traffic issues might be, what the construction noise and um, other construction issues might be. Mm -hmm. They might hire us to facilitate that communications oh, okay. part of it. Um, it also could be something that leads up to something that they're going to do. Mm -hmm. So we may be hired to do um, a study or to do um, public meetings mm -hmm. with individuals out in different areas of the, the city or the state. Uh -huh. Uh, to talk about, hey, if this is uh, this this road is going to be built, or this highway, or this extension, uh, what do you think about it? Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you? What input do you have that we should be bringing back to the state so that we can all make better informed decisions and, mm -hmm. and plan more effectively? So you're one of the groups or organizations that will put together those meetings. It's not mm -hmm. always just the state saying, okay, we're going to come out and listen to you or collect a little information yeah. and then put it in a, a folder. You yeah. really collect the information, look at it, analyze it, mm -hmm. give real feedback. Huh? Yeah, and you know, communications, I think we all, including myself, we all mm -hmm. know like communications go south, like you have big problems, mm -hmm. right? So it's great to get good data, uh -huh. um, but are we getting it out to the right people? 
and are we getting it out in a timely way, mm -hmm. right? So it's really having an overall strategy and helping organizations who a lot of times, they don't have a dedicated communications person. Mm -hmm. Or maybe project to project, they don't have somebody on that project that is uh, dedicated to communication, so they're all trying to wear like two or three hats. Right, and, and maybe not doing the best job. So to be able to contract with someone like yourself to mm -hmm. do that mm -hmm. helps the, everybody feel better about it and the project be right. more effective and better accepted, better understood, mm -hmm. all of those things. Mm -hmm. because and so because of Tracy's background too in construction, she's a safety consultant uh -huh. and owns her own safety consulting company as well as being co-owner of 721 with me. But because mm -hmm. of her background, a lot of times there are technical issues mm -hmm. that'll come up within some of our um, development projects that we're working on mm -hmm. that I can get good insights from Tracy on and stay ahead of the curve. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you've got a great partner there too. We're gonna give her a quick <laughs> shout out, okay? Oh yeah. You know, because uh, Tracy Lawson, Lawson and Associates yes. was just selected or just named recently, but selected earlier this year yep. as the Small Business Person of the Year for the city and county of Honolulu. So we go, congratulations to Tracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoop, whoop for Tracy. So we'll be doing a big statewide awards presentation coming up with, with SBA mm -hmm. on May, sec May 3rd at the Waikiki Prince. So it's a great function, to, great to get out there and, and expo and see other businesses that yeah. are successful and uh, congratulate and meet the best small business owners and entrepreneurs in the state. Mm -hmm. So, and Tracy's among them. So. Yeah, um, I'm very and, proud of her and also um, the fact that um, she's also one of my clients. So I want to make sure we give her a good <laughs> shout out because um, 721 does all of her communications and marketing. Okay, that's a, a great relationship to have and mm -hmm. to get together with other businesses where you network, you rely on each mm -hmm. other, you can trust and know each other's services. Mm -hmm. And I think that may be one of the benefits that came out of the Emerging Leaders Program. Oh, yeah, with I'm the, glad you brought that back. You know. um, first of all, got to meet a great bunch of people, mm -hmm. right? And, and they told us in the beginning you'd get really close with these people. But these are all, and it's true, but mm -hmm. these are all people who, um, you know, are walking the same path as you. Mm -hmm. Maybe at different uh, times along that path, mm -hmm. but we have shared experiences. We lean on each other even now. We might call each other and bounce ideas off. Uh -huh. um, but the content of the class also was really helpful. And um, if you're a business owner and you are going a mile a minute all the time, mm -hmm. you know, we tend, I know I do, I tend to focus on the stuff I like. Uh -huh. And the stuff I don't like is like piling up on the side of my desk uh -huh. and I'm not really like getting to it in a timely manner. Uh, I think that's typical for businesses. Well, this really made us focus. Mm -hmm. And there were different areas, finance, there was um, um, planning, mm -hmm. right? There was management mm -hmm. and marketing. And so we took big components of those. And then at the end of the class, we uh, kind of pulled them all together to do this growth plan. Mm -hmm. And I loved it because uh, I was feeling like my business was running me. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. And now I felt like I was getting a handle on stuff. And I was starting to run my business a little mm -hmm. more effectively. Mm -hmm. And I think it shows you some, sometimes the places where you really are doing things right, mm -hmm. even as we get lost in that, like, oh my goodness, there is so much to do, so much I want to do, and I don't like this, I like this, mm -hmm. or I'm good at this, so mm -hmm. let's do this, um, mm -hmm. and have that place to shine. Mm -hmm. um, but getting you a better understanding of some of the other pieces and how they're interrelated. Yes. So um, it's a, I, I love that program and we, we've had some great results. So we are recruiting right now. So anybody out there who, who knows somebody, you need to, it's not for the lighthearted, mm -hmm. it's not for beginners. Mm -hmm. So you need to have a couple years in business, at least three years in business, mm -hmm. have annual revenues of over $250,000, mm -hmm. have at least one employee, which is a big area of discussion because this, the, your whole cohort is looking at growing their business and mm -hmm. bringing in more people and mm -hmm. needing more people. And that just magnifies everything, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, the need to have a, a good cash flow, got to yeah. meet payroll. Yeah. You're going to have to uh, provide benefits. You're going to have to be competitive to keep and retain that worker. Yeah, you're absolutely. going to have to train them. So you're going to have to know your process, mm -hmm. know what your mission and vision of your organization is. So right. um, did the class help you really kind of 
get a good, really strong handle on those things? Or? You, absolutely. And you know what was the biggest thing? I mean, I, I don't know if anybody shares these things. The biggest thing for me was not what I expected. There was a challenge exercise, so to speak, mm -hmm. about scaling. Uh -huh. And I realized that one of the reasons that I never like, wanted a lot of employees was some of these scaling issues. Mm -hmm. You know, just that, oh my gosh, I got to do payroll and I got to do, you know, I have people responsible for me. That means I really have to be consistent in bringing in contracts and mm -hmm. I don't really want to manage somebody. I just want to do it all myself. Uh -huh. But it was causing me to have just overload. Yes. Right? So mm -hmm. I had to come to a, like a, uh, like a slap me in the head kind of conversation and say, Okay, no, honey, it's time for you to start growing and stop being not necessarily afraid of it, uh -huh. but putting it on that back shelf and saying, okay, mm -hmm. you can scale. Why aren't you doing it? Okay. Face those things and then have a plan yeah. to grow. And so um, we've, we've already uh, experienced growth since mm -hmm. uh, graduating from the class and mm -hmm. hired a, another new employee. So, you know. That's great. Yeah, we're That's moving great. in the right direction. Yeah. We're coming up on close, but I did want to ask you one thing. Um, just a kind of a reflection, you know, as a native Hawaiian, mm -hmm. woman, entrepreneur, sometimes it's considered a little unusual. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think brought you here? Or as, do you think this is a good opportunity for others? Oh, yeah. I really um, try whenever I'm out and about to encourage other native Hawaiians to really look at being on, an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. running your own business. My daddy's from North Carolina. Uh -huh. He was a businessman his whole life. My mom's Hawaiian. So I came from a kind of a mixed household. Uh -huh. And um, I think I learned a lot of my business stuff from my dad, mm -hmm. you know. But um, I'll, I'll give you a quick story. Dr. Chun, who is one of uh, my fondest people that I, I know, um, told me a story about the opihi. And he said they tried the aqua farm opihi, and the opihi would just come out flat, tasteless, no real body to them. Mm -hmm. And they realized it was because opihi out in the ocean have to cling on to the rocks mm -hmm. and they suction on to the rocks. And every time the waves come and go, they, they have to hold on and it makes them stronger. Uh -huh. I think being an entrepreneur has made me a stronger person uh -huh. to endure all the things that entrepreneurs have to go through. Mm -hmm. you know? and, um, and I think it's, it's been a great decision for me and I think other Native Hawaiians would enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And it, it lets you express yourself, uh, speak your truth, um, and you've also sh shown us how successfully you followed um, your personality, your nature, your dreams. So we congratulate you for that. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining us here at, um, this week on Adventures in Small Business. Thank you, Jane. And um, we will be looking for you and listening for Naleo out there <laughs> over the coming months. And wish you the best of luck with all those big events coming on. And congratulations also, Nalea, with the OO Award coming up in May Thank as well. You. Thank so, you. If anybody wants to check us out, it's naleopilimehana.com. Okay. Naleopilimehana.com. Naleo.com is the National Association of Latino Elected Officials. Uh -huh. Not going to get you on no, no. site. So <laughs> naleopilimehana.com. You're not going to hear any good music there. <laughs> well, you could get a little bit different music. But, okay. But thank you so much and congratulations. We wish you much continued success. Thank you. Same to you, Jane. Thank so, you so much. And remember, give SBA a call if you're interested in the Emerging Leaders Program. If you want to come and celebrate small business with us on May 3rd at the Waikiki Prince, a great expo. We'll have some great tastings going on. It'll be a terrific event with some of Hawaii's best small businesses. So come on out. Please join us. And www.sba.gov backslash Hawaii for the Hawaii District Office. Look forward to seeing you again on ThinkTech. Aloha. <laughs>